बसमीम् अस्सलाम वालेकुम क्लास दिस इज़ मिस सिद्रा इकबाल विजिटिंग टीचर ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड आर्ट डिवीजन ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड सोशल साइंसेस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डिवीजन ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड सोशल साइंसेस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन बेंगलोर कैंपस लाहौर सो आई एम हियर विद द कोर्स टाइटल ऑफ फॉरन पॉलिसी ऑफ पाकिस्तान फॉर द प्रोग्राम ऑफ मास्टर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री विच कोर्स कोर्स इज एच आई एस टी फोर डबल वन सिक्स सो टूडे टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दट बेसिकली इट इज द कॉन्टिन्यूएशन ऑफ दर प्रीवियस टॉपिक organization of islamic cooperation we will continue this lecture in our third part on this topic i hope you can understand previous two lectures i again repeated that if you have any question or have any query in previous two lectures you can ask me any time anything फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पाकिस्तान रूल इन ओ आई सी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ इस्लामिक कॉपरेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इट इज दिन टर्म ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इट इज दर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ इस्लामिक कॉपरेशन सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट मेम्बर पाकिस्तान is the oic's second largest member being the only muslim country with nuclear weapon having the seventh largest standing military force through research at nescom and bisto and a large labor workforce working in various muslim countries play a role in its prominence pakistan's solidarity with palestine in line with organization of islamic corporation strong stance against the occupation of palestine by israel pakistan has continuously adopted a stance against israel while maintaining moral solidarity with palestine pakistan is a one uh, is one of from the muslim uh, one of the muslim countries which have a strong stance against the occupation of palestine by israel and it and pakistan continuously adopted a stance against israel due to this pakistan also has their many problems with israel army collaboration pakistan army military college college of pakistan army military college of signals has trained more than 5000 office 500 officers from places such as burma bahrain bangladesh bosnia gambia ghana 
انڈونیشیا عراق ایران جارڈن لیبیا ملیشیا عمان نیپال نائجیریا فلسطائن سوڈان ساؤتھ افریقہ سری لنکا سعودی عربیہ تنزانیہ ترکمانستان یوگینڈا یو اے ای اینڈ زیمبیا موسٹ آف دیز کنٹریز آر ممبر آف آرگنائزیشن آف اسلامی کوپریشن نیول کولیبریشن مور دین نائن ہنڈریڈ آف ٹیچرز فرام مسلم کنٹریز سچ ایز سعودی عربیہ یو اے ای بحرین قطر فلسطائن ترکمانستان لبنان ایران گانا جارڈن کویت لیبیا اینڈ عمان ہیو بین ٹرینڈ ان پاکستان نیول اکیڈمی پاکستان ایس ایس جی این ہیز آلسو ٹرین آفیسرز فرام کنٹریز لائک سعودی عربیہ ایجپٹ قطر اینڈ ایران سنس اسلام گیو پریورٹی فار بردر ہڈ rather than border or territory if they successfully apply the single islamic value of unity among the members they can bolster their declining status declining status to address Islamic world issues. The great or emerging power in Islamic world, Turkey, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Malaysia, and Indonesia should take leading role of decision making decision making role they should take a problem of a single country as a whole and deal with till to find a proper solution this solution should be in the frame of their character and may be caused where it needs to enhance their influence over member countries 
organization of islamic cooperation should develop trade relations among member countries and pave the way to sign free trade agreement sign free trade agreement and remove or reduce economic or trade barriers in its member states so then being as a member of oic may have enough value and privilege because they will enjoy free trade and less economic barriers <coughs> it will be a good incentive for member countries and will play a good role for enhancing of a, of political and economic leverage of organization of islamic corporation and most of its members will very hardly dare to breach the charter or violate the notion of organization of islamic cooperation so then suspending a membership with both economically and politically affect our relevant country failure of organization of islamic cooperation the organization of islamic cooperation fails to establish full muslim world failure of establishing a security and peaceful muslim world considering of what kind of goal organization of islamic cooperation established in 1967 for the muslim world it has become totally failure to fulfill to fulfill of those goal the crisis of palestine it has been saying since the establishment of oic that to give arabian right to establish arabian rule in jerusalem to give the right for the palestine people and abdicate from arabian land which was grabbed by israel but organization of islamic cooperation couldn't do anything for the muslim world except except passing a few regulations the usa started a war against iraq and the organization of islamic cooperation was just a spectator Afghanistan crisis organization of islamic cooperation played a minimum role by giving support of ethical and materialism to afghanistan during the soviet aggression rebels in libya were supported by the french air force and the organization of islamic cooperation did not move forward to even take a notice except these crises oic has more failure like Bal- balkan balkan crisis gulf crisis egypt crisis and libya crisis as well as syria crisis organization of islamic cooperation is playing minor role to mitigate of these crises
prison of failure one of the most visible failures of organization of islamic cooperation is the non resolution of the palestinian problem it remains an issue of contention and dissatisfaction for the muslim world the recent israel lebanon conflict again demonstrated this paralysis and the marginalization of organization of islamic cooperation in international affairs the geopolitical diversity and political differences of its members reduce its cohesion and ability to influence in international affairs a former prime minister of malaysia dr mahathir mohammad remarked that the disparity of support between the economically powerful and politically influential muslim countries and the less fortunate ones is somewhat glaring key supporters of organization of islamic cooperation such as pakistan such as pakistan are poor politically weak and lacking in economic resources while the richer and more influential uh, while the richer and more influential member lack the political <coughs> political will to be in the driver seat to guide the direction of oic this lack of political strength is further reduced by serious disunity among oic countries especially in west asia it is now an open secret that the world does not place much importance to an organization of islamic cooperation in resolving conflict affecting muslim countries muslim countries such as saudi arabia and gulf states are oil and capital rich but their billions of dollars worth are carted away from invest investment and safe keeping in europe and the united states this high degree of economic economic and financial dependency of these countries make them vulnerable to european and american domestic and foreign policies thus further reducing their utility in empowering the oic and elevating it to a respected intergovernmental organization oic in many of its summits have produced various action plans intending to increase cooperation in economic financial and development matters 
In practice, however, this was hampered by many obstacles. Suggestion to create a common currency for OIC countries, trading purpose, and for the purpose of switching from the dollar has not materialized. Conclusion With all above mentioned con constraints and more, the OIC thus remains very much an observer, observer in international relations. OIC has been unable to act as a political force and to present a united front in the face of rising challenging challenges of globalization. Due to this, the gap between Western and Islamic civilization is widening. OIC must enhance and consolidate its collective political, economic, strategies, strategic and cultural values, while at the same time strive towards greater dialogue, interactions and understanding with other actors on the world stage. Without this, OIC's existence as an immanage, immanaged community, its role as a passive actor in international relations will be ensured. Its relevance and ability to adequately respond to the challenges of the 21st century will be a question. Thank you so much, students. I hope you can understand these three lectures on this topic. While listening the lecture, if you have any problem or if you have any question, you can ask me anytime. Thank you.